Hello, I am Jared Johnson. I'm a Google for Education certified coach, trainer, innovator, and leader of GEG South Carolina USA. I'm going to answer the question, how can I deliver asynchronous learning using Google Classroom, especially as it relates to creativity, innovation, and differentiation? In our current situation of a global pandemic, many students are learning at their own pace. Teachers are having to deliver instruction to their students virtually. Google Classroom can be leveraged for organization of assignments, resources, materials, and time management to create self-paced learning modules that can engage students in asynchronous learning. First, I will share what asynchronous learning is. Second, I will show you how you can use Google Classroom to create an engaging asynchronous learning experience that can tap into student creativity along with checks for understanding. Finally, I will show you how you can use Google Calendar and Google Meet for open office hours for those students that need that face-to-face -face contact. Asynchronous learning is when learning is not happening all together traditionally within the four walls of a school, but students are learning at their own pace within a time frame. Students have access at any given time to materials and resources to support their self-regulated learning. Students are demonstrating their learning through student-created products and formative check-ins that they are submitting back to the teacher using Google Classroom. Asynchronous learning is not conducive to teaching large amounts of information. You will wanna take a slower pace that is more chunked into digestible bites for students to do at their own pace. Asking yourself questions like, what knowledge or skills are essential? How much are my students able to do to be successful are key to creating a successful asynchronous learning experience. With asynchronous learning, organization is key to helping students locate their learning materials. Therefore, you will want to use a naming convention for your Google Classroom topics that make sense for your students. Topics can be by the week, can be by a unit, or by a standard. It's whatever works best and makes sense for you and your students. What is most important is to stay consistent and organized with your students in mind. Teachers can easily create engaging, self-contained lessons by utilizing the tools and applications found in Google for Education. Tools like Google Slides can be used to deliver content information in a presentational or hyperdoc format. Students are able to click through each slide to view the information, access links that are hyperlinked, listen to audio that has been added, or to play teacher-created video instruction or videos from YouTube. During asynchronous learning, it is important that teachers are providing checks for understanding so that they know how students are learning the content. This can be done by having students submit their own created products. For example, through a hyperdoc, students can click through different pieces in order to learn the material, then can be linked to places where they can submit answers to questions through Padlet, and then also gives them the research and time to create and edit video using WeVideo. Teachers can also add separate resources by using the Add Materials option in Google Classroom. From here, teachers can add files from Drive, links to websites, links to videos, different things like that for the students to access throughout their lesson. Teachers can also use Google Classroom's built-in features like Google Form Quiz to create midweek check-ins, to create ticket out the doors, or a simple quiz. They can also use the discussion feature to create discussion questions for students to answer and reply back to. And then you can also create a gamified experience by linking tools like Kahoot, Quizlet Live, and quizzes and more. Asynchronous learning is self-paced, but a time frame for students to complete their assignments is necessary. Using due dates and the built-in Google Calendar integration can help students stay on track and accountable for their learning. Teachers can create open office hours using Google Calendar and Classroom's built-in Google Meet feature by creating events that, that students can click on when they need that face-to-face -face support. Voila! <laughs> this has been using Google Classroom for asynchronous learning. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.